To get the most out of our social life, we need to be constantly meeting new people, interacting with them, and building connections. This can even determine if we live or die, literally. There was a study done where 7,000 people were followed for 9 years and they took questionnaires about their health, social life, and how active they were. And the results found that those who lacked social and community interactions were more likely to get sick and die earlier than those who did have some sort of social life. But making friends is hard, and most of the time, the first 90 second interaction will determine if the other person wants to be your friend or not. We will be reviewing the book, How to Make People Like You in 90 Seconds or Less, by Nicholas Boothman. And there will be some tips and tricks that will help us make people like us more. The first thing we need to do is make sure that the other person feels important, because everybody loves to feel important. And if you could do that in the first 90 seconds, that can help build your relationship and make a connection. To make the other person feel important, make sure that you're showing interest to the person. This can be done by making sure your body is faced directly towards them, and it's very awkward if you're talking to someone and they have your back turned to you. Another thing is to make eye contact and make sure that you smile first and say hello. This may sound really creepy, but it's a great way to indicate that you're attentive and open to start a conversation. After saying hello, this is where the meat happens, and this determines the rest of the relationship. This is when the conversation starts. The idea is to invoke a response that is beyond the typical yes or no response. Basically, questions that start with who, what, when, where, and why should be prioritized. Questions that end conversations should be avoided, or else there'll be an awkward moment of silence. And I can tell you this from first-hand experience. Last week, a coworker asked if we wanted to eat dinner together. We're not good friends or anything, but we just knew each other and I agreed. When we were eating dinner, the only thing I did was ask conversational ending questions. Here's how it basically went. I asked, are you ready for the summer? Yeah, she responded. Then, two minutes of awkward silence. I then asked, do you eat here often? And she responds, no. And then two more minutes of uncomfortable silence. And yeah, that's how the rest of the hour went. And I don't think she liked me too much after that. What I should have done initially was to try to find a common ground of interest. If both of us like dogs and have pet dogs, we should have talked about that. And that could have actually sparked the conversation. Generally, people like others that are similar to them, either based on hobbies, looks, social class, personality, and the list goes on and on. Something that can increase your likability is synchronization. Synchronization is basically mimicking movements, gestures, facial expressions, and vocal patterns of the other person. When I first read this, I thought that this was some kind of hocus pocus, but I decided to try it. I was getting interviewed for a job, and my interviewer was crossing her leg, so I decided to do the same. Now I'm not sure how big of a role that played for the job decision, but I did get the job and I felt that my job interview didn't go that well. But hey, every little thing that can boost your likability will help you in the long run. To actually implement synchronization, we need to discreetly do what the other person is doing. This builds on the idea that people like things that are similar to them and will increase your likability. If you're at an interview and the hiring manager looks extremely gloomy, try not to be full of sunshine and flowers. If someone is talking extremely slow, slow down your speech to match theirs. Having substance and doing synchronization is only the initial part of the conversation. The other part is making sure that you do active listening, which is going back to making sure that you make the other person feel important. Active listening means that you're making sure that you're actually listening to the other person and showing them that you understand what they're saying. If you don't, there would be a greater chance that the other person will not like you, and there's even a chance that you might deteriorate a current relationship. Again, I have some experience with this. I had a really great relationship with one of my friends. I would tell her everything and she listened to me. She made sure that I knew that she understood everything and she was doing active listening perfectly, and her likability went up. I initially did great with my active listening, but eventually I slowly stopped. I would sometimes just nod and would not fully listen to her when she was talking. And slowly our great friendship slowly deteriorated. She started not to like me as much initially, and yeah, I deserved it. 
because I was not actively listening to her and making her feel important, which again is the key to increasing your likability. Obviously, I'm not a master by any standards on how to get people to like you, but I really hope that this video helped you. By making others feel important, giving them your full attention, using open-ended questions and active listening will help you make others like you in 90 seconds or less. Thank you.